Here we have Asclepius tuberosa. I often call it butterfly weed, but it has a whole mess of common names. Um, and so you're probably hoping for something like this in your yard, right? Yeah, it's a pretty sweet plant. And maybe you've already got it planted and now you have forgotten, or maybe you never knew to begin with, what this is going to look like when it comes up in the springtime. I totally hear you, and that's what this video is for. <laughs> We're going to take a look at what butterfly weed looks like when it comes up in the springtime. Now, to be clear with you, if you want to know what Asclepius tuberosa looks like in every season of the year, I have a video on that, and I will give you that link in the video description. This is just a shorty video, if you will, um, that's just going to look at what it looks like when it's coming up. Now, to make sure we're talking about the same thing, here's all the stats, if you will, um, on butterfly weed. And I want to point out uh, just a couple things that are awesome which is the following. It's the only milkweed with orange flowers. And it's the only milkweed, if I understand right, that doesn't have a white sap when you cut the leaves or the stem, which makes it an oddball amongst the milkweeds, doesn't it? But it's an awesome oddball. <laughs> Something else that's really great about butterfly weed um, is it grows in so many different soil types. Uh, clay, loam, sand, what do you got? This baby can take it. Okay, so what does established Asclepius tuberosa look like when it's coming up in the springtime? Here you go. This is late spring. So like most of the milkweeds, um, butterfly weed comes up in late spring. And here you can see maybe they're about an inch tall. Uh, the leaves uh, are still all kind of bunched up as they're just coming out of the ground, a little fuzzy. And some of those little tiny little nubs coming out of the ground, uh, man, they're only like a quarter of an inch tall at this point. But this is what Asclepius tuberosa looks like uh, coming up in late spring. For me, that's early May. Uh, what is late spring for you? That is when uh, she'll start coming up. So here we are now. I'm just going to show you uh, two other clips of what it looks like coming up. This is two weeks later. So in about, well, maybe like 10 to 14 days later, we're already maybe six to nine inches tall. Some of them are still short in there, just a couple inches. But um, we have this six to nine inches tall cluster now. And so that took about two weeks to go from just coming out of the ground to something quite sizable. And once you get used to seeing it, it is pretty, it does have a very uh, unique and notable appearance. I wouldn't pull this as a weed anymore. This definitely looks like Asclepius tuberosa. And then now, this is just a week later again. So we're still in late spring. It's mid to late May for me. I mean, we have gone in the span of about three or four weeks from a little nub coming out of the ground to this. So this is already... Um, some of those stalks are one foot tall, some are a foot and a half, some are uh, not quite at their full height, which will end up being about two feet tall. And that one that you're looking at right there, that already has buds. What? I mean, when Asclepius tuberosa comes up, she comes up and she's not fooling around. <laughs> From about one inch to already a foot um, or taller and already showing some buds. And you can see here I'm showing a different Asclepius tuberosa little plant I have right next to that other one. I'm getting a clump going. Anyways, those other ones are only a couple inches tall. So there is variability, of course, in different parts of your yard uh, and in where you live in the country, of course, uh, as to when exactly she will emerge. Late spring, though, is a good bet. So that is what established butterfly weed looks like coming up in the spring. Again, I have a video showing you what it looks like in every season if you'd like to see that. Um, I also, if you're interested in seeing maybe what a different milkweed looks like in every season, I do have a video looking at Asclepius incarnata, which is swamp milkweed in every season. Um, and I'll give you a link for that too because that's, that's what I do. Anyways, I bid you good fortune in finding this orange beauty coming up for you in late spring. 
And I bid you please do continue planting native. <laughs>